We continue our investigation into the thousands of patients in Texas whose Medicaid has been cut off in the wake of a fraud investigation. An El Paso orthodontist estimates 4,000 El Paso kids could be affected. ABC7 has confirmed the state suspended Medicaid reimbursements for Sun Orthodontics during its investigation. And Sun, with four locations in El Paso, has in turn cut off treatment to its Medicaid patients. Tonight, Matt Darty has part two of his investigation where patients tell him they feel they've been abandoned. Eating popsicles seems to have become a standard pastime for these Northeast El Paso brothers. They fought through the discomfort of braces, the pain of tooth extractions, and even the stretching of their mouths by orthodontic devices. An intense four years of combined orthodontic treatment for the teens and their mom. Treatment their clinic sent orthodontics unexpectedly terminated back in June. He ran, you know, fever. He was in pain. He didn't eat. And now it's like, you know, we go through all of that. And what now? Patient abandonment. That's what Emma Diaz says Sun Orthodontics has done to her boys. And she's not the only one using that phrase to describe a specialist who begins treatment, then refuses to continue. It would be considered patient abandonment. And it's true for dentists, orthodontists, doctors. It's a fairly consistent standard across the medical profession. The parents I've spoken with say they were handed letters like these when they showed up for their regularly scheduled visits to Sun Orthodontics clinics. The letters give parents two options, either take the braces off or leave them on. It would be up to the parents to find another orthodontist. Leaving the braces on without treatment is going to affect them. However, what effect is it going to do if I just go and have them removed? You know, is it going to move them, shift them? Is it going to be worse than before? And this is a copy of a Sun Orthodontics patient contract obtained by ABC7, given to a new Medicaid teenager when the braces were first cemented on her teeth. It reads, quote, Good news. Once the braces have been placed, your treatment is fully covered. Even if you happen to lose your insurance, by keeping your monthly appointments, you are guaranteeing that your insurance will continue to pay for services rendered. But when we asked the attorney for Sun Orthodontics, Frank Sheeter, about this, quote, guarantee, he wouldn't comment. He says the clinics are following the process for terminating and transferring care. The parents I spoke with say they feel blindsided and helpless. I have called, I don't maybe 10 providers. None of them want to take a transfer. There's one that could possibly, but he has a wait like for about 400 people in line. And Sun's attorney points out the state pre-approved the treatments, then without warning put a hold on Medicaid reimbursement five months ago. Quote, an orthodontic practice can't reasonably be expected to continue to provide services for free for such a long time, Sheeter wrote in an email. The company says it's already laid off more than 100 employees and four orthodontists and still Medicaid spokeswoman Stephanie Goodman says a lack of payment shouldn't translate to a lack of treatment. She says doctors have a professional responsibility to finish what they started and if they don't, well, they could face serious consequences. In those cases where we have an orthodontist who is accepting Medicaid, put braces on a child or did any treatment, who has been in this case braces, and now says because the payment's not there, I'm not going to continue the treatment, we'll, we will be referring those to the dental board. We're working very closely with them, and they've assured us they will move on those cases. But that assurance is no consolation for 16-year-old Andy. He feigns a grin even though he's embarrassed of the gaps he's still got in his smile. If that at least can just close the bottom one, that's it. You'd be happy. I'd be happy with that. I can't just leave a kid with gap teeth. <laughs> they already have. But for how much longer? Well, that's the question. Matt Doherty, ABC 719. And we checked with the State Board of Dental Examiner's rules. They say once a dentist has started treatment, the dentist, unless there's reasonable cause, shall not discontinue that treatment without giving the patient both adequate notice and a chance to find a new orthodontist. Now, if you're a Medicaid patient and your orthodontic treatment has been interrupted, we've put information on the Medicaid Dental Helpline on our website, kvia.com. Also, though, also we have confirmed they are under investigation. No criminal charges or civil suits have been filed by the Attorney General against National or Sun Orthodontics.